Yeah, hi Debbie. So that's your file in the light burn. So there's the settings. I'm going to cut the blue lines at 200 mils a second, only 10% power, and then the red to cut it out at 15 um, speed, so pretty slow, and 75% power. So then all you do is press send, and you say, yeah, okay. You come over here, press file. Uh, hang on, just get out of that. Go file. That's the one you want. Press enter. That's it there on the thing. So then you go origin, which means where it'll start from. Frame. That'll show us the area that it's going to do. Now I have mine set quite slow for doing the bottles on the rotary. So it normally would speed a bit, uh, would frame a bit quicker. Then press start. So um, that's it doing it. Like I say, mine's moving quite slow because of um, how I've got it set up for the rotaries. If you have it too fast on the rotaries, the bottles can just um, fly off. So um, that's it cut. There's your lines. Probably got needs a little bit more power. You can just see where it hasn't actually marked it. So I may do another one with a bit more power. And there's your edge there. Uh, other than that, just been a little bit too light. Um, I can't get my fingernails into that, so it's it's really light. So I'll do another one as well. So I only increased the power by 2%, so I went from 10% to 12%. Any less than 10, it would, you were not going to get any fire. And that's why it, it kind of missed a little bit, because it's right on the border it, the borderline of how much power you need to make it actually work. So that's done. Um, oh, come on, get out. You've got to wait two hands. Okay, so... Yeah, you can see those lines now are fully done. There. So that's that's as good as you're really going to get. As light as you're going to get, but very visible. So tell me if you think that's good enough. I won't be able to get the lines any thinner. That's as thin as the lines would be. Otherwise I'd have to go to the UV laser. We'll see what it does.